Maddie. I'm working in a visualization lab, and my project is um, I'm trying to create a high resolution displays using uh, multiple overlapping projectors and on uh, projecting on any arbitrary shape. We can project on very uh, large displays or a small object. projector you can see the image is not uh, registered anymore so now I can only recalibrate this specific projector uh, my name is Abdurrahman Al Saudi and uh, I'm working with Professor Sharad on uh, adaptive Twitter uh, topic, uh, adaptive topic follow-up on Twitter, and this is our system basically. So once you go to a news article and you want to follow up on this news article on Twitter, um, basically you can click on a Google Chrome extension that we have developed, and then you can ask it to fetch tweets that's related to this article. So once you click on the fetch tweets here, a query will be generated and a request will be sent to Twitter to fetch tweets related to this article here. My name is Nitin Agarwal. I'm a PhD student uh, here at the computer science department in Irvine. And I'm, I work in the visualization lab with Go Professor Gopi and Professor Aditi. So my project is um, about brain visualization. Um, how we can creating a 2D creating a full pipeline from um, 2D images to kind of having a 3D visualization of a mouse brain. So here we have 2D images of mouse brain, and uh, they, these have these have a lot of artifacts. So the first step in this whole pipeline is about registration. How these need to be registered to a reference atlas space. So after registration comes the 3D reconstruction part. How do you once registered? How do you 3D reconstruct these slices uh, to have a seamless, smooth 3D reconstruction? My name is Zara Montazari. I'm second year PhD working with Schwan. And uh, we're working in computer graphics field. What, what we do is basically having a virtual scene. Everything here uh, is rendered with machine computers. None of them are real image or photographs. As a light programming and art at the same time, I think computer graphics is kind of the intersection between art and computer graphics when you have a technology and uh, tangible results like this. This is what I like about this field. My name is Tyler Kasmerick. I am one of Gene's student students, and I am a fourth year PhD candidate here at uh, UCI in the computer science department. So, um, the research that I'm presenting today is uh, looking into the effect of sensory stimulation on the performance of security critical tasks. And the real world is messy, and the real world is loud. So, we are looking into the effect of this messiness and this loudness that is the impact that any sort of unexpected auditory or visual stimulus can have on the performance of security critical tasks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.